Hi everyone. Uh, I don't know whether it's the depression talking, the fact that my mother died at the weekend, or that it's my birthday today and I turned 53. But I see the way the UK is sliding towards authoritarianism and I have been warning of this for years. I've seen it even though I wasn't politically plugged in. I could see it coming and with what's happening with the the Mr. Kid Starver Party, because to call it the Labour Party anymore is uh, an insult to the men and women who have built the Labour Party and the Labour Movement uh, in the past. The, the way I've seen that party turn into what they accused Jeremy Corbyn of going, uh, 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 that he was going to turn it into a Stalinist um, dictatorship. And instead it's Mr. Kid Starver who's doing it. Old Tel Aviv Keith getting his marching orders from the Israel lobby that backed his leadership campaign. And it's not anti-Semitic to say that he's marching to the tune of the Israel lobby because you don't have to be an Israeli or a Jew to be part of the pro-Israel lobby. And, you know, with all this stuff, the death of my mum, my depression at this time of year, it being my birthday, which I absolutely hate, um, and the fact that it's coming up to the anniversary of the death of one of my other, fa one of the other members of my family. Uh, I don't know about you, but I have lost hope in the UK. Not that I had much faith in the country anyway, but I really have lost what little I had the war against the disabled is entering a new phase where you won't even get respite if Labour, or rather, sorry, the Mr. Kid Starver Party gets in. And even if he, even if Kid Starver was. promising everything that Corbyn promised and it was all costed both times even if you questioned the costings you know he, he worked out how to pay for it whether you agree with his the sums and whether they worked at least they were costed but old Kid Starver here has, even if he promised everything that the Corbyn manifestos in 2017 and 2019 offered, I wouldn't trust him to honour a letter of it. 
his manifesto is going to be an utter lie. Much like the Tories. So basically, we've got a choice, seemingly, because it's usually either Tory or Labour who, who win because of the, the first-past-the-post system. Now it's OG Tory, Red Tory. If you're lucky, you might have Yellow Tory. Let's not forget the betrayal of the Lib Dems in 2010. And the other parties do not get enough coverage. Except the lunatic fringe. So your reform party formerly Brexit Party, formerly UKIP. They always seem to get tons of TV footage, but the Greens, virtually nothing. And I went to all the trouble of getting the voter Oh, the, 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 the free voter, the uh, vo voter photo ID. And when I got the chance to use it in the local elections, I didn't use it. I didn't vote. Because I couldn't bear to put my cross next to Tory but the only other option was Labour, and I am not going to support what is now not Labour. It's Red Tories or the Kid Starver Party. Because those were the only options for me. I don't know what options I'm going to have for the general election, but I don't see me having much of a choice there either. I'm sick to death of it. And I don't know about you, but I have lost what little hope I might have had, and I honestly don't think I have much hope at all. I've been feeling hopeless for a long time, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry that this is even more of a downer than usual, but it's just how I feel today. Maybe it's all the other stuff that's getting me down, but just seeing the news coverage over the last couple of days has really destroyed any hope I had of having a happy birthday. Not that I like to celebrate, but I do like to sit back, you know, watch some comedies or something like that. And I just can't do it. My depression has kicked into overdrive. And although I did get up, I did go out, I did have to celebrate my birthday because my ex-wife, God bless her, uh, uh, took me out and bought me presents. I had a, a reasonably good time, but 
in the back of it, I cannot enjoy any of it. And I don't see a way forward for this country. I don't see a way forward for the UK at all. Because if we have the Tories, the disabled people like myself are going to be attacked again. If the ki uh, Kids Starver Party gets in, we're going to be attacked even more, according to the rhetoric coming from the, the front bench of the Red Tories. And there's no other party that can rival either of those. All, they, all the other parties can do is maybe stop either of the two big, biggest parties from getting a majority. I would love to see a hung parliament but that is the only hope we've got. And unfortunately, I don't know whether the other parties or independents are going to be numerous enough to bring about what I think we should have, a hung parliament when neither of the two parties can do anything without the assent of the smaller parties. Unfortunately, with Kid Starver in charge of the Red Tories, he's been backing everything Sunak has done. And I would assume that the Tories will back anything Kid Starver wants to do. So we're going to have two parties who are supposed to be opposing the other, giving a different view of how the country could be run in lockstep. And they're using economically illiterate analogies saying that, oh, we can't do anything because the country's credit cards have been maxed out. It's like a household budget. No, it's not. It's bullshit. And they know it. And there are some simple things that could be done that could alleviate all the problems and all the, the hatred and the scapegoating of the poor and the vulnerable of this country. But they won't do it. Like I said, sorry if I'm going around in circles, but I just, I fear for the country. I can't say I've ever loved the country. I just happen to have been born here. But I do consider myself a patriot. A patriot is not someone who <laughs> hugs the flag or loves the country unconditionally. A patriot is someone who wants to do the best for the country, will point out where things are going wrong and try to put them right. So don't buy into the bullshit of all the politicians who are hugging flags and saying that you're not patriotic if you, if you complain about the state of the country, because that's bollocks. I apologise for the bad language, but unfortunately I have no inner censor, so I tend to start going ex expletive uh, hit, uh, flinging.
I don't know whether any of you feel the same. If you do, I hope you find some... something to get you through the day. But I can't see it myself. I really can't. Anyway, uh, feel free to comment. You don't have to agree with me, but it, uh, I have to um, moderate the uh, comments because I have had um, some very nasty comments and I don't want to inflict them on you. They don't have any effect on me, but you know, seeing that sort of stuff might affect someone else and I don't want that. I don't have many subscribers. I, I don't really have many viewers most of the time, but those that I do have, I don't want to, you know, traumatise with some of the shit I've been sent. So I put stuff on that is constructive. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I'm never going to be charging. I'm not trying to make this my my job or anything like that. I just think someone's got to be out there fighting the good fight as best as possible. And I could never do this as a job anyway. So if you aren't a subscriber and you, whether you like me or hate me, you can hate watch me if you want, hit the subscribe button. If you do agree with anything that I say, feel free to share. It will be nice to get some more people viewing my videos. But as I said, it's never going to be a business for me. I just haven't got the stamina to keep doing videos. The only reason I'm doing this one is because I am feeling particularly hopeless today. So... Um, I will be back, um, as soon as I've sorted out the situation with the, I'm not dealing with the funeral arrangements, but I've still got to prepare myself. I will be bringing, uh, other videos out, but it won't be until after the funeral, which is, um... I think it's the 19th of June, but I will be, I will try and put something out, but it won't be a regular thing. But then if you're a regular subscriber, you already know that I go for very long periods without doing anything. So anyway, hope to see you next time. This is Valen signing out.